Hi there. I just finished doing my nails, Frostbite by China Glaze. And I'm just going to do a design on them because I always do. I don't like my nails to be plain. And I figured that um, I have this set of nail art pens and brushes that I have with me. And um, I figured I would do a review on them because I think that it, this would have been a helpful review that I would be looking for when I bought it. So, I'm going to get into it. Alright, so they're Nail Star 2 way Nail Art Pen and Brush. Like I said, I bought them from eBay. They're very cheap. I think they, it comes with um, 25 of them in a package. Yeah. And this is actually my second set of ordering them, although I ordered them at the same time, but I didn't order the same ones. I, I ordered from totally different people just to see how, like, the differences between the two packages, maybe, you know, they had different colors, and I was happy to find that they did have different colors, like, most of them are unique. Now, with my first set that I got, um, a couple of them did come damaged, uh, because these have the pen on top, and when you unscrew the lid, there is a nail art brush. Da -da -da -da. Nail art brush. And um in my other set, a couple of them came with the with the brush completely fallen off and the brush was just, you know, sitting in the bottle. And I can't really do anything about that. But the good thing is that none of them came in where the brush was broken and the pen, so I can still use the like either side of them. So um but when you think about that, don't think, oh, they came broken, you know, I shouldn't get them. Because it was very few of them, and they're, they're so cheap that it really doesn't matter. It is worth it, because, like, okay, this is going to be totally the wrong math, because I don't have the numbers in front of me. But it's, like, if one breaks, it's like you're wasting, like, I don't know, like, 13 cents or something. You know, it's not a big deal. Anyway, the other thing you need to know about these brushes are they're not a standard size because um, some of them are long and some are very short and, you know, it's just sort of random the way they come out. You can't choose them any specific way. But, you know, it, it kind of makes it interesting, actually, because you can do more with shorter brushes or you do different things with longer brushes. So it, even though it's probably not what people would ideally want, that was supposed to, I was supposed to say ideally, but I don't know how it came out because I have a cold. Anyway, um, but I think that they, they are, my overall judgment on them is that they're good. Like, they have their problems, but for the price, they are good. Now, I ha I also have, like, this is, I'm going from the pen's point of view for this part because I have other nail art brushes, but they're not that different, so it's not really a big deal. But the pens in particular, I have a set from Meiji Nail Art, and they are definitely better quality, and they are much more expensive. Like, you really, you know, you're paying for the quality of the product. That's why these are cheaper, obviously. Anyway, I, I only have one set of the Meiji Nail Art ones, and so that's eight of them because they're double-sided, so there's four, like, long pens, but they're actually eight individual ones. And I do really like them, and the they're, um, l l like, the polishes are really good consistency inside. It's not too watery, at least for the ones I have, but my the black that I have, the pen did break, which is sad because it was so much more expensive. And they, they also, those ones come with little, like, certificates in them where you can, um, you know, like, every couple months get refills or whatever. But um, just think when you do that, that technically you're paying the same price that you would be paying if you just bought a whole new pack in the end. But, like, I realize you can, like, vary in the color that you want, but still, you know, you're pretty much spending a lot of money, like, well, at least a lot more than these. So these, they come in really nice colors, and there's a large variety of colors, so pretty much 
anything that you want to do, any occasion, you can find the right color. So I'm just going to quickly go through. The colors don't have names on them, so I'm just going to have to try to explain even though the lighting here isn't great and my webcam isn't a very good quality, but hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to see them with help from explaining for me. So for red, this one, it's blood red. It's very nice. Oh, before I go any further, I'd like to just say something that uh, I broke one of these myself. It was 100% my fault. It wasn't because of the product. And that's because I got it and I was like, oh, I'm just going to try this out right away. I, I've, I've done this twice when I first got my first set. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't do that again. And when I got these, I was like, crap, I did it again. But anyway... Hopefully I won't ever do that again. But anyway, what I did was when I got this, I wanted to use the pen. So I squeezed super hard because that's what you do. You squeeze. Like you don't press down and it comes out. You just squeeze and it comes out. And I was squeezing so hard and nothing was coming out. And that's because you have to clear the little hole. Like each one comes with this little thing on the back, which uh, it can be used for clearing, but sometimes you, if you're like good enough to do it, you can use it for nail art. It works either way. Anyway, each one comes with it, and you need to clear the sort of lid. Like you need to get all the stuff out so that you're able to um, really use it. So when I squeezed it and then I did the clearing afterwards, it just starts gushing out and it it doesn't seem to stop. So make sure that you do not do that if you buy them because you know you don't want to ruin your product when it like it's your fault and it's preventable so that's just so you know. Sorry I'll go back to the colors. Um, Alright so I did the blood red and the one that I was just demonstrating with this is red and with sparkles and the sparkles sort of look gold or something or gold sort of orangey inside maybe copper I don't know. Anyway next red is this one. It's sort of an orange red. On the camera it looks very orange, but in real life it lo definitely looks more red than orange. Anyway, okay, now for the oranges, they're not really true orange colors. They're just sort of um, peach colors or, um, you know, coral. So there's this one. It's definitely more orange. And then this one, which is more pink, but they are very nice. And um, I realize that you can't actually do your full nail. Well, I guess you could. But anyway, if you like buy nail polishes this color, I find they look best on people with uh, red hair and the skin tone because my cousin, she has red hair and she uses that nail polish all the time and it looks amazing on her. It actually brings out the color of her skin and her hair looks more vibrant just because of the color on her nails. Like we also, uh, like whenever she asked me about an outfit, I will choose the coral first because it makes her look really good, whereas for my skin, it makes it look really not nice. It looks sort of sickly and, well, it already does look that sort of color. I have sort of a green toned skin, which is weird, but it, it, may, it definitely makes me look worse. So, but anyway, that's just me. Alright, so moving on, it came with only one yellow. That's this one. It's very bright, but again, these colors are very watery and you'd Probably you couldn't. There's no way you could put this over a dark color. You definitely have to put white uh, under it. All right. Um. Next are the greens. This one, when I first saw it, I thought it was white because it's so like pale. Like people would I guess call it mint green, but it's so so mint rather than green. If that makes sense. Anyway, next is this one, and this one is my favorite because green's my favorite color. And it is very beautiful sparkles of green. I'll definitely use that one a lot just because that's the way I am. Okay. And this one is sort of blue and green. So it's sort of teal. And, you know, it's, it's nice. And then the one that sort of looks like that is this one. But this one is obviously more blue and this one's obviously more green. Alright. Um... I'm going to end this video with this color, which is a nice sparkly blue, like, well, sorry, not sparkly, shimmery blue. I'm just ending it, and you can keep watching in part two for the rest of the colors.